on right now, but what I just, just uh, Carolyn, if you could just start uh, talking to the girls of what happened here at uh, the Dixon Building, uh, part of the Queen Elizabeth uh, Hospital here in Halifax. Okay, girls, the understanding and what we just learned now is that if somebody from the general public wants to be a live organ donor, there really isn't access to information for them, but rather the way the system works is that if somebody comes in and needs an organ, they contact only personal family and friends, and you know, those people then have to go through an interview process before they are even allowed to have the information to become a live organ donor. So consequently, the general public really can't get information. It's only if you are a friend or relative of somebody in need. So how did you feel about learning that information? I felt like it was, how can people get educated on it if they don't get to learn it? you think for it because you want it to be a live organ don't you? A little bit disappointed? Yeah. Ashley? I don't really think? understand. I think that everyone should be able to do it. Don't understand. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Do you think this was uh, a good experience for us to take to find out? It was good for us to learn. Was it good now, that we did this? I, I, I thought, thought everyone could come yeah. So we could let other people know now, right? That there's this particular way and maybe those are changes that perhaps need to be made because there are other provinces where things are different. I think they should leave. Okay, so this was worth doing this then. Everybody agrees? Yeah. Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, on to the legislation. <laughs>